This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 4, this is Section 8, Releasing the Ego Impulse to Blame or Change the Past. Hi, David. My motive for writing to you is for further clarification. As I am watching myself type this, I am aware of feeling unsure and unsafe with little confidence. Therefore, I am also searching for reassurance that all is working together for good and that trust is deepening. Here goes. Babies are born to be dependent on humans and have something to blame for their unhappiness. This is so in an attempt to avoid responsibility for our own state of mind, which is our sole responsibility. I bring this up because I realize that I have set everything up in such a way to distract myself from relaxing into the living moment and being in joy. I have chosen my family and they have chosen me. I have set it all up. The world, family, friends, situations, circumstances, ideals, thoughts. The good news is that I am not any of these things. I am not the world. I am as God created me. Whole, perfect, changeless, eternal. Why do I seem to be so sad? I seem to be sad about having set everything up in order to prove to myself that the false self-image I made is true. Well, it is not true. I set up my whole life until now by using others and situations to prove that this lie that I made up about myself is true. This is the ego's game and I am no longer willing to play it because all it is doing is keeping me distracted from fully living in the now. I realize that the only way to stop playing the game is to stop running from the present moment. As I observe myself, I still have this hidden wish that the past did not happen the way I think it did. I wish that I had not set anything up with family. I wish that I had not set anything up with that guy in Africa, of whom I still think about. I realize that I have a dependency on sex. A childhood rape seems to occur over and over in the mind, the seeming separation. You have mentioned at some point last year that the form is not the problem, that it is a perceptual problem. Once again, I put everything in the Holy Spirit's hands, asked for the truth to be revealed and trusted. I have come to the sole realization that I do not know what anything is for. Since the past did not occur the way I think it did, because in the same instant that the error seemingly occurred, the correction was made. The Holy Spirit was the correction, and I want to accept Him in my heart and let Him lead the way. I find that I am still hard on myself. I watch and am aware of wanting everything right now. This is possible 
because everything is right now or right now is everything. However, I realize that I am still afraid because of all these seeming ego devices I made. But I am learning to be kind and gentle with myself. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you to myself for your willingness to let go and let God as you forgive yourself for what you think you did because you did not do it. Avak, avec amor. Beloved one, thanks for pouring your heart out to me. Yes, just allow the memories and thoughts to arise in awareness and gently be reminded that these are past thoughts floating through consciousness. The greatest ego temptation is to believe that things would have been better if they were different. And this is the desire to change the past or figure it out instead of releasing or forgiving it. Last night I watched the movie The Butterfly Effect. It is a mind watcher that offers the forgiving lesson that is impossible to fix characters or past memories. The main character keeps reliving scenarios and memories that were blacked out because of intense trauma and horror. Using the power of mind to remake the scenes and scenarios sends the script off in alternate directions. Yet none of the life scripts offer any lasting satisfaction. Those who are destined to meet in form will meet. Though the lesson in mind is always to see the past as past and the false as false. The past is over. Though the ego wants the error to repeat over and over. The dreamer of the dream state of mind is tranquil and peaceful. And this is accepting the atonement or correction for the entire dream. I think you will find the butterfly effect a helpful resource in your healing. Tonight I will once again be watching Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, a spectacular tool and symbol of memory deletion surrender and forgiveness. Love transcends all of the perceptual memories. Though the ego believes the memories are the love. The light that shines beyond all perceptual memories is blazing with eternal love in a spotless divine mind. Beyond the temptation to judge and blame is a love so deep and pure that the sleeping mind will rush to love and abandon all images and trinkets the instant love is remembered in waking.